Festivities for Black Ops 4 have begun for Xbox One and PC users as of today. Operation Spectre Rising did kick off for that, but alongside that, we also got some things elsewhere in Black Ops 4 that for all platforms involved, there was some other stuff to talk about as well. So now we're gonna talk about the smaller update that happened on the front of, say, PlayStation 4 and elsewhere, but also recap a little bit again of that Operation Spectre Rising content for you guys that are jumping in for the very first time. So today we're gonna break all that down, but before we do, today is the very last day here to get your 30% off code for G Fuel with code ESPRESSO. You can head over there, get your restock or your first try of it, whatever it may be. Again, 30% off for today only now at midnight of Eastern Standard Time. It's gonna go back to its regular 10% discount. So if you guys are looking to take advantage of that, of course, now's the best time to do it. So head on over there. But one also quick thing before we jump into the content at hand here, possibly a brief little apology here for this. I'm starting to work out and force myself to use some new audio hardware that I ended up getting so if the commentary sounds slightly different hopefully it'll be back in the next couple of days to regular levels but it might sound a little bit different hopefully for the better now at this point but i'm still trying to get the work around of all this kind of stuff so that said not of the content of course you guys probably care about black ops 4 Today's update, again, the biggest thing was introducing Xbox One and PC users to Spectre Rising. So we'll cover all that stuff in detail, but as for the lead-off stuff first, the actual newer stuff that we haven't talked about here, let's discuss that at first. The big thing that you'll notice is that maybe right on that front page of Black Ops 4, you'll see a double XP icon as well as a double merit icon for Black Ops 4 modes. Now, unfortunately, this is actually kind of deceiving because it's only available for those featured game modes. So for MP, you're only going to have double XP available in the map pack mosh pit. Zombies is only going to be available in the Super Blood Wolf Moon Gauntlet for Dead of the Night. And Blackout Double Merits are only going to be available in the Bounty Hunter game mode. This is live now and actually until Friday, so not a weekend of double XP, but sort of a midweek event that we can get for celebrating Operation Spectre Rising for all platforms. So if you want to take advantage of this, it's kind of like a little celebration now that it's to everybody, so you can jump in and take advantage of that. On the playlist front for MP in particular, let's talk about this real briefly. PlayStation 4 introduces us to, or reintroduces us to the map pack Mosh Pit. Prop Hunt stays. It's now just in that regular featured tab, not the main featured menu. Bare Bones is there. Deathmatch Domination is there. And as well, Mercenary Deathmatch Mosh Pit is going to be there. For Xbox One, you have all of the same, except, well, Infected is there instead of Prop Hunt, because Prop Hunt will be launching on Friday for Xbox One and PC users. And then PC players will have that map pack Mosh Pit, Infected, as well as the Bare Bones mosh pit so that said that's the playlist stuff here but talking prop hunt a little further to go a little more in depth here we end up seeing that we got a little bit of some adjustments to the mode in particular this including an issue that was addressed where players were able to replenish their decoys when destroyed it was something that was kind of a big thing seen on nuketown it enabled drowning damage for underwater props so you can no longer just sit in the seaweed of different locations i know that there was one on hacienda that was relatively used a lot where a lot of people were just chilling out in the water and in that seaweed and it was tough to find them and then it had various stability fixes including a fix for instances where players would be kicked back to the main menu with a game no longer available error outside of that nothing was really changed in the mp aspect there was something that was a glitch with the nvir scope on the swordfish but that's about it outside of that though there were some changes made to blackout alcatraz being of course that big one that you'll probably recognize it's not the featured game mode this week bounty hunter quads is still that main mode that of course even has the double x P with it, but if you go into the featured game mode, you can see the Alcatraz quads is back and prominently displayed there once again. It is a ton of fun as always, but the curious parts were that there was actually a lot of different openings created in the map. So especially in Cell House, you can go in in either the game or in theater mode and take a look that there are some rooms that were opened up that weren't there. There are some more holes in the walls created by what looks like blasts on concrete that opened up different areas you could maneuver in and out of the building with. And the same thing goes with quite a bit of different locations within the map. I will say though that it's not perfect. I know that the first game on I landed Model Industries and I went to go through a window and the literal first thing I did was run into an invisible barrier in a window. So it's not perfect. You're going to still find some things that will be fixed out in time, but a lot of different areas were opened up and created some new outlets for you to play around with. So might just save your life at one point in Alcatraz, but that's something that was changed out as well. Bounty Hunter ended up having some changes to Spectre in the way of there is now a cooldown for Spectre's barrel rolls or rolling to maneuver around the map. And also there's a decrease in that overall roll speed. So it's not going to be as fast and as viable and should be a little easier to combat. 
Now, I will say that, of course, that's kind of the whole thing with Spectre in this game mode, but at the same time, it was definitely almost nuts to play against if you were in close quarters combat. So kind of on the fence, you haven't played it enough to really accurately gauge a post-patch opinion on it, but that's something to be conscious of as well. Some minor things came up in the way of bugs that were addressed in which you could end up bleeding out even though you were being revived if a teammate ended up starting that revive at the very tail end of the downed process. So that's something that is nice that it's no longer going to sort of negate like that and your teammate won't be punished for being just a second too late, whereas you still should have been alive. But outside out of that nothing really else was all that changed same thing goes for zombies just a bunch of general stability improvements the only other thing that was changed on the leadoff side was well the shop to which this week it's got something pretty cool in it i will say but also i'm still pretty disappointed in what's being offered so when we take a look at the shop today we end up seeing that we have a torque skin which is you know up for whatever you guys think i'm personally not too fond of it i don't care too much for the uniforms we have the nebula reactive camo which honestly i think is really sick i got this one immediately and of course you'll see some gameplay in the background of it you'll see some of the phases of it and all but the big thing that i am really kind of concerned about is the mx9 patriot or sons of fortune mastercraft is available within a bundle as the special orders now first red flag here for probably a lot of players is that this was actually a pre-order bonus for the game way back whenever the game launched. It was one of the first and only pieces of customization at that time, so it had some value to it. And it was sold once again later on in the year as a part of a triple play, I want to say, if my memory serves properly. But personally, I don't care too much about it coming back. It's already done so before. I would have liked to have had the exclusivity part, but I don't care much about that when we talk about the other things at hand here. The second thing, though, is that it's $10 or 1,000 COD points, but the Mastercraft and Camo itself realistically could have been so much cheaper. It's stuffed instead with not our normal five tiers that we have to progress through in order to end up unlocking things because special orders, you actually still have to rank up in your contraband stream. Instead, it's 10 additional tiers on top of then that 11th being that weapon Mastercraft, and they're all reserves. Now, you guys know how I feel about the reserve system. I don't see the need at all to end up gouging this price up a little further, just for it's probably going to give me a duplicate sticker. And truthfully, man, I really think that if they were to sell this thing for like four bucks as a ketchup item or something like that, maybe even like six with a reserve case or two, something smaller that it isn't $10 for what is eventually some crap odds in a slot machine simulator for 10 tiers. So after that, if you don't buy the tiers, it's 10 hours almost, or at the very least, five hours of in-game time for you to end up working towards what you already paid 10 bucks for. I guarantee if they ended up making it a smaller bundle or whatever you want to put with it, it'd sell more. So completely just taking out the RNG crap of the reserve cases, I just don't understand it logically. But regardless, the third thing and what probably a lot of people are more so angered about is the fact that, well, a lot of players already have this. So not only one are you double dipping in selling something that was already there, but for players that care about that tier boost, that extra 5%, they can't get it because they're either paying $10 just for 10 reserve cases and that tier boost, or in some cases I've heard it doesn't even let you buy it. So you're literally missing out on something that if you want to put the money in, you can't take part in it. So especially when it comes down to the fact that this first half of this operation in Days of Summer is going to kick in with another tier stream, you're only going to get that max of 25% at that Days of Summer refresh. You're not going to be able to utilize that full 25% as is in this first part of the operation. So when you take another 5% off that, it's just an extra added bummer here for it. So that's something that I've seen a lot of people talking about and complaining about and rightfully so so i don't necessarily understand that but that's the shop changes here with this as well but outside of that xbox one and pc did of course get that operation specter rising content specter new blackout map new blackout game mode three mp maps for black ops pass holders a new gauntlet and zombies all that kind of cool stuff that did come along with it and i said it in yesterday's things to look out for that at its absolute base and core the new operation is honestly a lot of fun to play with i think specter even though i'd still probably prefer crash i think specter is a really cool addition here to black ops 4 especially given the fact that it goes into a completely different view model when activated going to third person like that toggling from a developmental standpoint is quite a bit of a hurdle but it just sucks that those small victories here and there get overshadowed again by just some stuff that ultimately i just don't think helps the game at all 
So that's it. That's everything here that changed out of today's update. A little smaller on the leadoff front. And again, for you guys on Xbox One and PC, hopefully you guys do enjoy Operation Spectre Rising. If you can look past all the customization stuff that was introduced here at this and some other things that came along with it, I think that honestly you'll have a great time. But again, it just kind of sucks that it gets overshadowed by this stuff that ultimately, I don't know whose decision it was, but it was an absolutely ridiculous one at that. Regardless, that's where we're going to wrap it up. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you're on Xbox One and PC, what do you guys think of the update? Are you enjoying the new content? Are you enjoying the new Blackout map, the new multiplayer maps, the new weapons? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Black Ops 4, MP, Blackout, Zombies. We get you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So if any of that issue, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best places to get connected with outside of YouTube. Pregnant on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below well, let's head out of the way thank you guys also for watching Mazda espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace